Member from Renfrew, Mr. Singh, Pembroke. Thank you very much, uh, Speaker. My question is for the uh, Minister of Community Safety and Correctional Services. A year ago today, everyone in this chamber was shocked and saddened by the news of the deaths of three women in and around my riding of Renfrew, Nipissing, Pembroke. Anastasia Cusick, yeah. Natalie Warmerden, and Carl Culleton were brutally murdered, murdered, allegedly by a man who had been released on parole. I spoke to the then Minister of Community Safety and Correctional Services, who agreed with me that we had to do much more to protect women from an abuser once that person had been released. He also assured me that action would be taken. I and the people of my riding have waited a year for that action. We have run out of patience. Can the minister inform the House, victims of violence, and all the people of Ontario when your government will take this matter seriously and do what is necessary to protect women Question. from being re-victimized by their abuser? Thank you very much, uh, Speaker, and uh, thank the member for the question. Uh, first of all, Speaker, let me begin by saying that uh, my thoughts are with the victims' families, friends, and the Wilno and surrounding communities on the one-year anniversary of this uh, truly devastating event. My most important priority is the safety and security of every Ontarian. Uh, as the uh, member knows, we're now investing $208 million each year for services that support and protect women from violence. We've enhanced the tracking of offenders by improving the way domestic violence probation orders are uploaded to police information centres. Under the proceeds of Crime Frontline Policing Grant, we've invested $1.2 million in related uh, domestic violence initiatives. And just in fact, Speaker, this past Tuesday, we announced $58,000 in the member's riding uh, through the OPP Renfrew Detachment to uh, support the Renfrew County Situational Hub Project. The project aims to bring together partner Answer. agencies from the justice, mental health and social services sectors to support and help protect individuals from violence in their communities. Supplementary. Thank you, Speaker. Back to the Minister. While those supports are appreciated, my requests have been very specific. Because I couldn't wait for your government to act, within weeks of those murders, I introduced my private member's bill, which would have required all parolees to sign and accept the terms of their release. Those who were convicted of domestic or sexual violence and who were deemed a risk to their victims would, be also, would also be subject to electronic monitoring. My bill received all party support on second reading. As a result of prorogation, it has died on the order paper. I will be reintroducing my bill to help victims of violence this afternoon. My preference would be for the government to introduce, introduce its own legislation. In the absence of this, will you support my bill? so that the victims of violence will have more protection than they currently have, and send a clear message that this legislature places the highest Question. priority on protecting victims of domestic or sexual violence. Thank you, uh, Speaker, and again uh, to the member. I, uh, I'm certainly aware of the member's uh, a private member's bill. It was uh, Bill 130 that uh, did die on the order paper. But uh, I want to say to the member, I'm certainly willing to work with him, and I want to uh, commend his advocacy uh, on this particular issue uh, and his, uh, his efforts to champion this particular issue. Uh, what I will say as well, Speaker, is that probation orders are enforceable whether or not they're signed uh, by the offender. And in addition, we have policies in place for the supervision of high-risk offenders, including electronic supervision when imposed by the courts or the parole board. We've implemented additional training for officers with a specific focus on domestic violence and sex offender uh, supervision. Uh, we've also focused offender programs and resources on medium and high-risk offenders and continue to do that. I want to say to the member today that I'm Answer. committed to working with the member in relation to uh, the specific elements of his private member's bill so that we can continue to improve uh, these circumstances Thank and you. protect women from domestic violence.